Okay, guys, so let's get into this. Um, one of my IG um, subscribers or IG followers sent me this, and um, I thought it was very interesting. So as you can see, um, the Department of Justice is looking for gender reassignment surgery, um, and it is due on, let's see, it was published earlier uh, last week. It's actually a source of site. So for those who don't know, a source of site is basically the, the agency is looking to see if there's anyone out here who provides this service. So it's kind of like a feeler to see who's out there. And um, it falls under uh, medical general health care. Uh, here's a snakes code and it's going to be in Fort Worth, Texas. So what does this mean when they put out a solicitation or if, if this eventually becomes a solicitation for a, a um, federal agency, then that means that this is essentially tax dollars that are going to this project. So um, what they're looking for is uh, is looking for conducting market research. Again, I said this is a source of site. It's not an actual solicitation and may not ever become a solicitation. It's not even a pre-solicitation as it states here. Um, but they're looking for gender reassignment services, gender, gender reassignment surgery services. The locality for these services will be in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, and um, anticipated to follow inpatient, outpatient, hospital, and, phys and physician services, female to male. That's a little different. Um, and I'm assuming top and bottom means like um, upper part of their body and lower part of their body. So they only have one questionnaire. So that's cool. Let's open that up and see what we get out of that. And this is five pages. So some of this stuff was already listed on the solicitation. And so when you're looking at this stuff, you're just looking for a few keywords, like what are they asking for? That This is exactly what they're asking for. Um, this question, again, this is not a solicitation. This is just a questionnaire. So they're just trying to see. And what they may end up doing if they do not get enough feelers when it comes to sources sought, um, they could sole source it if the if the agent, whoever is going after this, if they just so happen to be an 8A or they just so happen to be another sole source worthy set aside, or they could just, um, if they don't have enough, they may just put it out for the open market and have anyone bid on it. So they're asking, can your firm provide gender reassignment surgery, including top and bottom? Yes or no. And then... They also ask if you would be a prime contractor or provide services using a subcontractor. That seems to be very important. And some of these things are not familiar to me. So it's just what are, what uh, CPT codes will be used for the gender reassignment surgery, female to male surgeries. And you're supposed to list all that. What DRG, I don't know what that is, codes will be used for the reassignment surgery. What recommendations, feasibility of doing both top and bottom simultaneously? Is there a community standard for separate or simultaneous procedures? Now, I've uh, been in the military. I've had a couple of surgeries, so I do know that sometimes if you have uh, multiple surgeries done, your body may not react well. So I, it seems like what they're asking is, is, there, um, is it beneficial to separate the surgeries or is it beneficial to keep them together? So they're kind of asking for industry knowledge as well in this solicit in this uh, sources site. So here's a few more questions: outpatient facility, inpatient facility. Um, what is your business size? And so for this NAICS code, this general medicine NAICS code, when they say um, your size standard, if your company makes under forty seven million, you're considered a small business in this under this NAICS code. That's how that kind of works. Um, is your firm, firm eligible for any of these set-asides? See, so that was something that I mentioned earlier. How many days, oh, how many calendar days does your firm need to prepare a proposal resulting, resulting from this solicitation? It says solicitation, but this is a sources site. So what they're asking, it seems like they really do want to um, like sole source this type thing. So what they're saying is if, if I were to submit this today, like I, this was my specialty, if I submitted it today and I told them I need 30 days to write a proposal and submit it back to you, and then someone else says I, it's going to take me 60 days, more than likely the agency is going to um, try to get the services from the person who is providing the proposal earliest. Um, I would just 
assume that if I was to think from an agency perspective, I was a DOD civilian, so I do understand being on the other side of purchasing services. So this is what they want you to provide. So with the sources sought, they usually include like documents like this where you just fill them out and send them back in. You can have your own template yourself as well. Um, at GovCon now, we do provide all types of templates for sources sought, all types of um, you fill in, fill in the blank type of documents where you can submit as a sources sought. So um, that's something that you can either submit on your own or respond based on what the agency is providing in the sources site. List hospital, hospital privileges. I don't know what that means. Any questions? And then they give you all the contact information. So if you're in medical, even if you um, do not want to do this type of service, you've just gotten um, contact information for those who are in this um, that work for this particular agency. So this is the uh, Federal Bureau of Prisons. So these are all three, well, one, it looks like a mailbox and then two, well, one is a mailbox and one is an individual person that you have contact information. So you're saying, hey, I don't want to do that particular service, but I would like to um, provide nurses, nurses to the Federal Bureau of Prisons or something like that. So just also keep that in mind when it comes to some of these solicitations or sources sought that you can just be collecting the information, um, the personnel who are in charge of, say, the medical projects or just in charge of any of the opportunities opportunities that need to go out as well for the Federal Bureau of Prisons. So I hope this was helpful. Um, sometimes going through these solicitations line by line makes it a lot easier for people to understand, but this was so unique that I wanted to um, share what I thought about it with you know my limited medical knowledge, but also just knowing how to read a solicitation or a source of side or a proposal. A lot of this stuff is very redundant and um, anyone who is still worried about doing um, proposals just line by line. That's all you have to do and you can do it. So until next time, peace out.